It is early Saturday morning, and I was going to come down here and get all set up to do some sanding, and I'm looking at this little dent here now, and you know, it's not as bad as I thought it was. Um, I don't know, maybe it sort of uh, fixed itself, uh, healed itself overnight. I mean, a couple of guys did suggest, you know, uh, using uh, an iron and a wet rag type thing, but I was afraid to do that on top of all this wipe on poly. But I might not have to. Maybe if I just lightly sand the area here, you know, with 400 grit and then 600 grit, and then put another couple of applications of the wipe on, it might uh, not be too noticeable. After all, 10 years from now, I'll be lucky if there's only one little dent in it. Actually, 10 years from now, I'll be lucky if I can see the dent in it. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I live in what's known as a side-by-side, -side, by the way, and I don't want to uh, be bothering my neighbors with a bunch of noisy stuff early Saturday morning anyway. You know, do unto others. Uh, if I can hear their dogs barking, I'm sure they can hear all my noisy equipment here. Now, that being said, I like dogs. However, they might not like woodworking. Now I'm just going to rough the entire surface here with 600 grit so that the wipe on poly will adhere to it better. I still see a little indentation there, but I think that I'm not going to see that once I get the poly on. And maybe I better do around the edges here just a little. Very lightly. I'm not real good at finishing them. You probably picked up on that. And I don't want to be getting my greasy fingerprints on there either. Oh, I think I got away without having to take this thing apart. All right, now let's put the wipe on Polly and uh, see how it looks here. Okay, I know you didn't see me do it, but I blew the whole thing out really good with compressed air. Okay, here's the bad spot. That'll be all right, I hope. Now the pores should already be pretty full from, you know, the previous applications. The only place I have to really concern myself is where I just sanded right here. I can still see a little mark there, but it sort of blends in. Okay, so the idea is you wipe it on and then you wipe off. And you try and do it as, uh, in, as far as I know, you try and do it as soon after you put it on so that it doesn't start to thicken. You want to you wanna try and keep it nice and uh, thin so it will self-level. Okay, I think that's all right. Just gonna let that dry now. Not all my ideas are good ideas, so force drying wipe on poly might be a bad idea. It kind of works with just regular uh, polyurethane, but uh, well, I guess I'll know tonight. No stickiness going on there at all. No, you know how I like to be honest in my workshop videos. You can't see it under here, but I spilt on my table saw. Could be worse. Oh, I don't want to wipe too much off. I'll clean this up later. Now you know the difference between a good videographer and a poor videographer? Well, the good one doesn't show you his screw-ups. So I guess I'm not a good one. However, do you ever notice in some of these videos that you watch and everything goes right and it's by these professionals and generally it's affiliated with a woodworking magazine 
and they're in their squeaky clean studio workshops. Nothing goes wrong. Well, trust me, it goes wrong. They just don't show it. I have done the wipe on poly thing one more time. So that's a total of three applications altogether since I sanded. Now here's the moment I've been waiting for. And if you'll remember I was mentioning we have to be very careful not to bend that hairspring. It is replaceable but it sort of comes as a module and it would be approximately a hundred dollars to replace the module and I don't want to have to do that if I don't have to. Okay looks like it's gonna fit. Now not too tight. Well, the next step is to get the charm rods mounted. I guess they'll go this way. In the right place here, at the right height. But that is definitely going to have to be tomorrow. <laughs> 